beautiful day in Nevada. But meanwhile, on a serious note, a former Marine is imprisoned in Iran. He's on a hunger strike now as his family is renewing calls for his release. Amir Hekmati has been held in an Iranian prison for more than three and a half years. He was arrested while visiting his grandmother in August of 2011. While in Detroit this weekend, Vice President Joe Biden met with the Hekmati family, which comes only days after the Hekmati's sister, Sarah Kurdi, met with officials at the White House. She was joined by her husband, Rami, and by Congressman Dan Kildee, who introduced a resolution calling for the release of Hekmati and two other Americans being held in Iran, including Washington Post journalist Jason Rezian. I spoke to Sarah, Rami, and uh, Congressman Kildee just before their White House meeting. Thank you so much for being here, Congressman and Sarah and uh, Remy. Well, let's talk about the, the crisis, really, for your family. Sarah, first to you. Your brother, now since 2011, a Marine has been, a former Marine, has been incarcerated. Um, what are the, you being told as to why? I mean, ultimately, the suspicion was about his service in the U.S. military, even though he served prior to going to Iran to visit our grandmother and he was very transparent prior to going and obtained all the um, required paperwork to go visit and was there for two weeks um, before he was held um, by the intelligence forces. Do you have any concerns that this warming of relations with Iran and the negotiations for a nuclear agreement might influence uh, the administration to not be as active as they are about trying to get his release? Well, from the U.S. side, we're reassured that it is something that they are engaged with with the Iranians on a regular basis, and that's something that we've been told on multiple levels. On, uh, on the Iran side, however, we do see progress with Iranian officials that are engaged with the U.S., but there are some factions that are trying to tie Amir's case to the outcome of the framework deal. Congressman, what can you do? You understand the politics of all of this. I think the most important thing is that the American people and through Congress and its administration speak with one voice and make it very clear that if Iran intends, intends to engage the global community, they can't hold political prisoners. Would you oppose any nuclear framework if there is no release? You know, I'm one who believes that the negotiation is the right approach. And I think it's really important to keep the two questions separate. Amir Hekmati is an innocent man. Uh, negotiations with Iran over their nuclear capabilities shouldn't be a condition, nor should there be any concessions in those negotiations in order to gain his release. And the fight continues by the family and by Congressman Kildee to try to get him back. We're live.